welcome to the channel Teresa Renee so today I have for you an unboxing of my new Keurig I am about Keurigs like people are about iPhones really so um, I bought this will probably be my probably about my fifth or sixth Keurig and the reason I want it to purchase this new Keurig is because I have gotten to the point that I want Sometimes I want brewed coffee instead of like, you know, the single serve. And Keurig continues to improve upon their Keurigs. And, girl, let me just show you what I got, okay? Um, I'm probably gonna move some more stuff around, but what I have here is the, let me turn it around. The Keurig K Duo Essential. Um, so you have the single serve and you have the coffee maker. And I am so the crafting coffee maker. And I am excited to get this because, like I said, sometimes I want more than one cup. And then sometimes I honestly just want to smell the coffee brewing. So I got this from Wally World. Of course, they probably have them everywhere. I know the top of my head is cut off, girl. Just bear with me, okay? Let me adjust the camera because it's really about the product and not me so much, okay? So, I'm gonna unbox it with you. I did open the top already, so I haven't like peeked on, peeked on the inside. So we have the 12 cup Catherine here and it actually gives you the measurements on the side up here, which is great. So you can measure from, it goes from four to six cups, okay? So we have that. Burn it over there. And let's lift this baby out the box. So I currently have the single serve that did I get this the single serve last year? I think I did. And the turquoise blue color, as you can see back there. So I will be replacing it with this. And I gotta wash it up and all that stuff. But I don't know why they make the cores so dang short on these um, Keurigs. I guess it's good in a sense, and then again, it's not, okay? But um, I'm gonna work with it. So it has a huge water re reservoir back here, which I am glad of. The only thing about that single serve is that it really did get on my last freaking nerve, um, filling it up so often. But um, it has a really huge water reservoir. So here we have a, and like I said, the angle is off because it's about the coffee pot, okay? So um, we have the 12 cup capacity here. So it tells you about single cup pods, and it also has the cafe, is that how you say it, cafe? Over here, drip coffee. And then you select, it's basically your same setup for the single pod. So let's wash it up and we'll come back. Okay, so I've taken the, I took the tape off of it, so we're going to open up the reservoir, it slips out just like this, to be washed. I'm going to wash that, as well as, oh, can you pop this out like the old one? So you can still, so this one, you can still pop out the um, pod holder here to insert your own to, you know, put coffee in there if you'd like to do it that way, which I love, because sometimes I actually do do that. That comes in handy. So let's wash this, let's wash this, and I'll be back. So if you, okay, so it's now ready to go. And you can choose the pod. If you choose the pod, then you choose the ounces. If you want to do the drip brew coffee, then you actually choose the cups. So I'm going to, because I want to test out the cup portion, I am going to get some good old coffee. Let me go get my, so we're going to be using this Starbucks Morning Joe. I typically do not like Starbucks, but I wanted to give this one a try for whatever reason. I, I normally don't like Starbucks though. So let's open this up. I'm gonna set it up. I just wanna show you what I am selecting. So now that I have everything washed up and ready to go, I have put my coffee in there. So this is how it's set up on the top. If you want the pod, then you will select this to brew then you will select the coffee pot and then you select how many ounces or how many cups rather and i'm going to do eight cups um so we will see what happens <coughs> so we will see what happens 